This is the drive home with Zach and TT for the Mill drive home. We're about to drive home through the den. We're finished Millwall nil. Luton nil. Luton Town nil. Another draw, another clean sheet, but another game without a goal. Back to back nil nils against West Brom and Luton. You would say on the face of it are two decent points, but I, I really felt like the game was there to, to be t to, to take today um, to take to them, and I don't think we no. we done enough. I don't, you know we had a couple chances that we should have put away. Yeah, really. we should have. Well, I, I think you know prob you know I'd say that Luton have got. I think they've got one of the best defenders in Lockyer. I think he's an absolutely yeah, he's superb a fantastic defender. defender. He can um, deal with anyone. Yeah, he really he, he had a very good game and was probably man of the match. But thanks very much for watching. We'll, we'll break down the game. Um, if you're new to the channel, get yourself subscribed. Put your comments in below. There were some really good comments in the last game, so we really appreciate them. Um, and stick a like on the video if you did. Like the video. Uh, we started off with a couple of changes today. Um, long in goal, back four of Danny McNamara, Murray Wallace, the fought both wing back struggle today. Um, centre backs of Hutchinson coming back in for Cresswell and uh, Jake Cooper. It was George Savile and Ryan Leonard who both had fantastic games in the central midfield. Vogel Sammer on the right. Uh, no, sorry, Vogel Sammer on the left. Burke on the right. Zian Fleming in behind uh, Tom Bradshaw. Uh, I don't think Bradshaw had a chance today. Uh, he did work his, work his nuts he off. He did have a chance imagine. until he got wiped out, really. Yeah. Um, it was a difficult, a difficult game for him to, to get involved. Like I said, Lockyer, Lockyer done really well in defence. We did create the first chance with about five minutes into the game and to be fair it's an absolutely fantastic chance and, and needs to be taken better than it was the ball's on the edge of the box Ian Fleming chips it over to Long who's running late and he's got Long. so much uh, Burke sorry uh, Burke's so much time so much space to be able to try and bring the ball down and have a shot and he just miscontrols he it he tries to take it past the keeper yeah and he miscontrols it. it it's a gr honestly it's a great chance and, and needs he needs to do better than that he but could just hit it first time that is that sums up Burke you know he, he jumps well he, he runs really quickly but uh, you know his end product is flat as to deceive yeah. a lot of the time which is why he's bounced around from club to club we um uh, had the second chance it was a, a, a ball in a, a Hutchinson um, head up from a corner it's gone well wide uh, to be fair our set pieces were, weren't great you said there was a penalty for Bradshaw in the first half what, what I genuinely thought there was a penalty for Bradshaw in the first half when um, I think he got played through oh when he was being yeah like, and literally it like, might have held. been it might have been luckier but he was about, he was about to take a shot and luckier just like went into the back of him and Bra Bradshaw's tried to take a shot but it's just gone chipped over and the Mill fans were furious and I think it was a definite de a definite penalty uh, there, yeah there probably was one um, Luton their only chance of the I think it was nearly their only chance well certainly their only chance of the first half was a, a set piece it's, it's bounced around the edge of the box and then um, you know kind of a looped ball over our, our defensive line it's going I think it was going to go in but it was cleared off the line no it wasn't going to go in I think, think so? it was like going a bit wide it might have done. but there was someone about to get on to onto it and Savile just um, it launched cleared it, it away uh, second half I don't, uh, sorry Leonard had a, a really good shot from about 25 to 30 yards that was going to the bottom corner it was uh, well saved by the keeper to be fair he owes them one after throwing one in the back of the net at um, Kenilworth Road yeah. uh, second half we um, took a long time to make any changes uh, a real long time uh, just a couple really that we were kind of relying on set pieces with you know, Vogel Samba had a free kick that he's put wide and well, he's high and wide. Um, surprisingly, that Fleming didn't take it. Uh, Luton had one really good chance with a throw in down the line. Um, in, well, the throw in wasn't down the line, it was into Morris, who gets in front of our defender, has had a great shot. Um, well right, saved, well, very well saved, very well by saved Long. by Long, and, and then they had another shot about about a minute afterwards. That again, that was well saved, and that was pretty much it, it for the game. Yeah. Uh, SA came on too late. You, yeah, Billy, he he looks so good, SA. I know I, I, we're playing Vogel Samar over players like SA, and it just doesn't make sense to me because uh, uh, they need. You know, we we look like we're we're missing attacking flair. Yes, we do look good defensively, and maybe Vogel Samar's in the team for his defensive work, but. You know, SA looks so exciting when he comes yeah. on, and I know it's hard to hard to tell because he's he's only getting 15, 15 
20 minutes so it's not enough time to be able to really judge him but I'd like to see him get more minutes because I, I, I think he's a difference maker I think he's someone yeah. that can you know get us get us get us goal chances apparently us... uh Cresswell might like could be out for quite a long time with a, a fractured eye socket I think it is yeah which which doesn't look good because I really like Cresswell and we've only got him for one year. No, but Hutch, obviously, what player to yeah. come back in, you know, yeah, to, but... to losing Cresswell and then Hutch comes in and has a good game. My man of the match all day day, day long today was George Savile. I thought he was excellent. So yeah. determined to get on the ball, great in the tackles. He was really unlucky to get, a, um, well, I'd say unlucky. It probably is a booking, but it yeah, was just the first, like out, really. it was the first real challenge of the match from us and, and he's picked up a car but just his energy his desire his passing I, I felt like he run the game today Leonard he, he done yeah, really that's, well that's who I was going to give my man the match who to. Ryan Leonard yeah okay, because well, I thought he played so them two together look like a like they look fantastic they look so we've got the technical all technical ability of Savile and we've got the pace and drive of Leonard and it just works so well together yeah, we like I said, we relied too much on set pieces today. We just did not create yeah. enough from open play. Vogel got... Sam also had a chance where he was through and oh, he got he caught just, in his feet he should, and he, he turned should... round yeah. and then turned round again and tried to have a shot. It, mm, it yeah, he shocking. had that. And then Malone had one where it's come to in the edge of the box and he's taken a touch to drive it across the box and just literally yeah. bypassed everyone. Um, like I said, return of Billy Mitchell today uh, on, his it, on, on his birthday so happy birthday Billy Mitchell yeah, happy birthday I've, it's someone else's birthday today as well I can't it's one Burke. of the is it Ollie, Ollie Burke well not so happy birthday Ollie um, <laughs> you should have done better with your chance in the first half we've got Hull on Easter Monday uh, we can't go because I'm working which is absolutely and gutting and my birthday is in two days after that alright yeah your, his birthday's on the 12th I'm of buzzing. April um, would have been my dad's birthday on the 10th of April but obviously uh, he's no longer with us. Thank you very much for watching uh, the Mill Drive Home. I'm just about to drive. I thought I'd just take our time to, to, to go through the game before we go any further. We really appreciate your support of the channel. Um, Hull, Easter Monday, and then Preston at home next Saturday. I hope you all have a very good Easter. There's only one way we can end it. No one likes us. We don't care. Come on, you lions.